In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a custom background for a blogger blog. Now, the first thing you can do is download a free program called Paint.net. You don't have to buy a special software to do this. If you already own one, that's fine. You can use that. Next, you want to create a 1450 by 1100 background. So to do that, go to Image, Resize, and do 1450 by 1100. Make sure that the maintain aspect ratio box is unchecked. Next change your resolution to 71 and click OK. OK really didn't see any difference here because it scales it to the size of the window that you're working with. But we did in fact change the size of the image. Okay, now with a blogger background, you need to leave the middle light so that you can read the text that you put on it. So you can put like a middle box in there. Let's put a light color in there. It's something like that. And let's add a layer. Let's select the, some dimensions here. Maybe like this. Now let's fill that with color, like so. Okay, then what we can do is start importing pictures or do any other type of design we want to do on the edges here. Now, instead of putting a color in the middle, you could put some light colored pictures in there as well. Okay, so then you can do whatever you want on the outside edges here. Let's import some images. So what I'll do is I'll do a layer and then import from file. Okay, we'll bring it in. There it is. Okay, so you can just fill the side with images or writing or whatever you want for your background. So you can just continue on like that, add a couple more images. Okay, something like that. You can play with the image and do what you want with your background. This is, an ex is not an extensive tutorial on using image software, but what I am going to show you is how to get this background on your blogger blog. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to save this image, which is our background. So click Save here. And then what we want to do is save it with whatever name you want. Blog background. Doesn't matter. Okay, save it as a JPEG. Same thing again, click OK and flatten. Now the next thing you need to do is upload it to Photo Bucket. You can open a free Photo Bucket account and upload it there. Okay, so here's Photo Bucket. Just create yourself a new account, click on Get Started, and away you go. Just a free account is fine. Once you're in there, you're going to upload your file. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to More Options here. And make sure you have one megabyte file size checked. And then click Save. Okay, then upload your image. Okay, this is the BBG. That's our image there. And we'll just save and get a link. Okay, you can leave this page sitting here now. The link you're going to be interested in is this direct link. But we're not to that point yet. First, we have to go and find the blog we're going to change. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new blogger blog. Call it Test Background. Okay, so just continue setting up your blog here. Make sure you select the minima template, click continue, and start blogging. Okay, at this point go to layout and edit HTML. Okay, now what we're looking for, if you just roll down a little bit, You'll find body, and you'll find this stuff under body, background color, and all this stuff. Okay, you're going to change what's in here. And I've given you a text file with what to paste in there. So here's what the code looks like. So just grab this and do a copy. Go back in here. 
Just grab all this stuff in between here. And then paste in your code like that. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is put our direct URL where it says photo bucket direct link here. So go back to your photo bucket account, get the direct link, and copy. Go back to your blog here and paste it in right there. Okay, now we need to go down and change some more things down here. Just go down a little further, and under header here, go back to where we just get the header. Under here, remove this border line, then down a little further under this other header, remove this other border line. Yeah, let's roll down a little further. Until we see outer wrapper. You'll see the width says 660, change that to 700. And down here you have main wrapper, it says 410. Change that to 700. Okay, our changes are now done. Let's save the template. Now let's have a look at our blog. Uh, there it is there. Now, as you can see, we could have moved our images in a little bit. So if we go back here, we could move these images in and resave it and upload it. Okay, but you can mess around with your background to get it the way you want it to look. But that's basically how you create a background and get it into your blogger blog.